Laura is going to be, uh, is going to tell the tale. Let's go to Tom. Tom, you're on the sports phone. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing, Ralph? All right. First of all, I just wanted to say that uh, those girlfriend analogies were killing me earlier. I turned on the show to try and uh, get rid of uh, a girlfriend, and uh, all of a sudden, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't happen very often. I, we'll start talking about boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But anyway, I just uh, wanted to say I think the A's are going to win three straight at home, and they're uh, not going to have any problems. And um, You think they're going to beat Oral, then, huh? Yeah, definitely. How are they going to do that? <laughs> It's going to be at home. It's a whole new ball game when they're in, in uh, the Coliseum. Well, it is. I guess, you know, the last the last three games of the 1986 World Series, uh, all seven games of the 1987 World Series, and the first two games of this series have all been won by the home team. Yeah. Exactly. But, uh, so what do you the, think about uh, on steroids? I, I don't know. I don't. If uh, you know, Dave Newhouse knows more about that than I do, because uh, you know he's closer to the A's being over in Oakland uh, constantly, and he says that he thinks it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I'll tell you one thing: you should find out more after the series, because supposedly, uh, if you hold him to his word, Tom Boswell, who is the writer that made the allegation, said, "I'm not going to talk about it now because I have to work during the playoffs in the World Series." and it's going to detract from my ability to uh, do my job. But after the World Series, I'll be happy to talk about it as much as you want. So, theoret now a lot of times these things are just kind of washed under the carpet and nothing said about it, but if, if, Boswell, if Boswell is true to his word and he does say, you know, where he got that impression, uh, either one or two things is true. Either he got it from some reliable sources or else he was just listening to a bunch of loose talk in some clubhouse and, uh, you know, he spoke uh, where he shouldn't have. But... So, yeah. you, theoretically, the, you know, we, we should get this thing taken care of one way or another yeah, after well, the series think, is over. I think that if Conseco uh, hadn't taken him, I think it would have made a bigger deal about it. But, uh, well, he said he, 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 said okay. he was going to sue him. Yeah, he said he was, but, I mean, I think it's just going to blow over. He's just waiting for it to blow over. I mean, I think that he isn't on him now, but I think he was, you know, maybe a few years back. Well, so. again, I, I don't really know enough. I haven't... Uh, you know, followed Canseco's bodily development, uh, you know, close enough to offer any intelligent uh, opinion. But, uh, you know, he hasn't uh, said, OK, I'm going to offer a urine sample. And he hasn't, you know, he hasn't filed a lawsuit, although he said he was talking to his agent about it. But by the same token, you know, the the you know, the burden of proof is on Boswell is on the guy who made the allegations. And he hasn't come up with a, you know, with a smidgen of proof either. Yeah. You know, so but, yeah. uh, what, what do you I was wondering also about the. Uh Yesterday, when they threw Young in for Montana, this yeah, quarter. right. What, what, what was the reasoning behind that? Uh, you know, they said that it was because Montana was. I read in one account that it was because Montana was having trouble breathing because of his rib injury, and Walsh said he wanted to keep him fresh, you know, for the fourth quarter. But I, yeah. I'm not, you know, that sounds pretty shaky to me. Yeah. I mean, if he was having all of a sudden he's having trouble breathing in the in the third quarter and not in the second, and 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 it would be okay in the fourth. That that sounded. <laughs> You know, because you know, because because John Madden, you know, was really questioning Walsh's judgment seriously. He he did everything but call it stupid. I mean, yeah. he said this doesn't make any sense when you've got a ten point lead and you're winning the ball game and et cetera, et cetera. So if Walsh was going to take him out, he had to have some you know excuse, and that was the one that was given. Whether or not it was true, I don't know. But uh, but I do know that during Den during the Denver game, he took him out. You know, in the uh, in the fourth quarter, you know, before the overtime. Uh, and I, I don't, you know, as I said, I really, I really think there are times where Walsh just doesn't know what to do. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, we were watching the game yesterday, and it seems like, you know, Craig was running so well, and, you know, it's like, all, all of a sudden, Walsh gets this idea in his mind, he sees Craig running well, and then he goes, Craig, 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 and well, whatever, you know? Yeah, well, like, the, you know, but see, it, one thing. you know, if, if Young came in there and Young did well, you know, then, then Walsh is a hero for making this, uh, incredibly, uh, good judgment at just the right time yeah. and if not well then you come up with some excuse you know yeah. anyway i mean you know they roger craig won the ball game yeah definitely. Uh, you know and again that one that one great play yeah but uh ralph we have this uh a's blues song we got going here the a's what a's blues the a's blues, a's blues okay yeah <laughs> I got the open A's blues. We're 0-2. <laughs> I got the open A's blues. 
Ah, yes. Okay. Well, I, I I don't think you're ready for Hollywood yet, but that, that that's not bad. Maybe, maybe that'll uh